Let's take a look at this example of using builder pattern to solve a real problem. So suppose we are given a arithmetic expression as a string, for example, like this, 3 plus 5, parentheses, and times 7 minus uh, 6 divided by 5. And we want to construct an arithmetic expression tree. For example, in this case, uh, this is uh, the root is minus, and then this is times, times is 3, plus, then this is plus 3, plus 5, and then times uh, 7, and then uh, this one minus 6, divided by 5. So this is the expression tree. So the input is this string and the output is this tree. That's what we want to do uh, using the builder pattern. Now let's take a look of uh, uh, so we can fir uh, actually we can first take a look of the UML diagram. So basically in the UML diagram so we we first need to have a director which is we call expression parser okay in this expression parser we should have data member is uh, which need to be a builder and uh, then we need to have set builder okay set builder so uh, specify which one is my i mean basically uh, uh, assign some builder to this um, builder um, and then second uh, function is this parsing uh, we are given expression expression uh, as a string and then we perform this parsing okay and then for the builder for the builder we basically need to provide these interfaces add our print add literal add the left parenthesis parenthesis add right parenthesis and uh, get the expression how did we come out with these interfaces well we basically look at the uh, how to parse this right so we basically uh, uh, one we basically uh, need to uh, analyze what kind of com I mean basic elements we are going to get from parsing this right first is uh, left parentheses right left parentheses left parentheses left parentheses so we need to have a function that deal with, deals with the uh, left parentheses and then we got this three three is basically uh, a number right so it's a literal uh, here could be three, could be thirty. I mean, we just use three as, as an example. So may, maybe have multiple digits, right? And also, then this is plus. So three is a literal. So which means what what we are saying is we need to have add literal, right? We have add left parentheses, add literal, and then we have plus. Then we need to have say add all print, right? Add all print, which. Uh, uh, we have four different types of operand, right? Uh, times, plus, minus, divide, right? So, so after this, we got another literal, and then write parentheses. So we need to have a function add write parentheses. That's basically the four interfaces, and then the last is uh, get the expression, get the result, get the result. Okay, and here is the expression builder. We basically implement all these functions for the builder. All right, this is the UML, UML diagram. Now let's take a look at the code. Okay, so we have this expression parser. We have a data member, it's a builder pointer, and we set builder is basically get this parameter and assign to this um, um, data member. Okay, so that's simple. Uh, now we are given an uh, expression as a string and give to this parse function. Given to, given to this parse function. First, uh, okay, so we basically need to go through all the every element in the string, every element in uh, every letter in the string. And here is we go through that, and for each of them, we will check whether it is left parentheses, right parentheses, plus, minus times or divide or none of them. If it is none of them, which means it is a number, right, basically uh, based on um, uh, for this problem, then we basically we have this literal, we us, I mean for this literal, right, for this literal, we are going to us push back to this literal. We basically push back to this, uh, uh, push back to this literal. Basically, add this uh, to the end of this uh, literal. So, for example, this is three, and therefore we have 
say 300, 300, then after that we will get uh, 300 as a string. Here is as a string. Okay, and then um, once we have once we have a let let parentheses to here is for let parentheses. Well, we we'll first need to check whether the literal size is bigger than zero. If it is a uh, uh, bigger than zero, then we need to uh, for the left parentheses. Then we need to uh, give this literal to the expression uh, to the builder. We need to give this literal to the builder and tell the builder this is a literal. Uh, this is a add literal, and then and here's the literal. And um, and then we need to clear up this uh, literal. Basically, uh, this literal is used to hold the current uh, literal, right? So we have to clear it up. Okay. And uh, if literal size is equal to zero, then we basically just tell the um, uh, bigger than zero, or, or and here we. Uh, no matter is bigger than zero or, or less than, or less or equal to zero. Here we need to have add left parentheses because we are going. We got a left parentheses, so we need to deal with this uh, left parentheses, which uh, just tell the builder we got a left parentheses. And um, and uh, similarly, if we deal with the right parentheses. We do the same thing. Basically, give this as a right parentheses to the. Um, to the builder, and um, and here, so because this literal has been growing, I mean similar for these two cases. Before we tell this, here's the uh, left parentheses or right parentheses. We have to uh, give the current literal to the builder. Same thing for plus. Uh, similarly for plus, we have to uh, first stop. Growing the literal, stop growing the literal, and uh, if the if the literal is not uh, uh, empty, then we need to give to the builder first. Here, here's the literal, and then we give this uh, 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 add oper. If if this is a plus, then we call add operand uh, to this uh, expression builder. Similarly for plus minus times divide, that's the same thing. Okay, this, so this is the abstraction par uh, parser, and here's the builder. The builder basically provides all these interfaces: add operand, add literal, add left parentheses, add right parentheses, and uh, get the abstraction. Get the abstraction. Okay, so here's the abstraction builder, which is uh, um, inherited from the builder. We need to implement all these functions, and here we need to use stack. We need to use stack. Okay, so when we get Add operand. When we get an operand, then uh, when we get an operand, then this this is the string of the for, to indicate what operand uh, uh, operand it is. Then we need to instantiate a node, instantiate a node, and then push this node to uh, the stack. Push this node to the stack. And um, here we have uh, similar for add literal. We also instantiate a node with this literal. And then put it to the stack, and for left left parentheses, there's nothing. I mean, we need to do, but for right parentheses, when we get a right parentheses, which means that we need to uh, we no, we now need to pop things out from uh, we now need to pop out things from the uh, from the stack. Okay, so we pop the first element out. That should be the right child of this uh, uh, this um, uh, this expression. So that this is the right child, and then we pop it out, and then we uh, pop it again. That should be the the parent node, basically the the, I mean the operand, and then we pop it again. That's the left child, and and uh, we get the top, and then we pop right. Always we get the top, and then we pop. Get the top, then we pop. Okay, and then. The one in the middle is the parent. Parent set set left child is that this left child to be the uh, left child and the, the right child to be the right child of this parent. And then we push this parent node into the stack. Push this that into the stack. 
Okay, and then this uh, we have uh, get our expression function. Uh, this one basically the expression when we call this the expression should be on the top of the stack. We basically get the top and then and then pop that out from the stack and then we uh, return the root. Okay, so um, that's for the parser and builder and the concrete builder and uh, for the node that that's node is. Uh, um, is the thing that we is a building block for building this uh, structure, complex the tree, this structure which is a tree. So here we have uh, m value which is indicate the value of that. We use a string to indicate that to store those, and then we have left child and right child, left child and right child. And so here we do not distinguish uh, non-terminal node and terminal node. We all treat as a node with uh, two children. And uh, so this is the constructor, right? and this is a constructor with a value. And left child is now, right child is now. And uh, for uh, this structure, we if the left child is not empty, uh, is not empty, we did it. The left and the right child is not empty, we did it. The right. And here get value means return this value and set left child with uh, we will assign this left to the left child same thing for right child and get left to get right that's simple and here print we have a print function for this uh, node which basically if, if we have the left child then we print uh, parentheses and then call the left child print and then print uh, my the current value of this node and then print uh, the right child if you have if it does have the right child okay so that's for the uh, the node class, and for the client we have we need to have a builder. We need to have a director. This is the director, which is a parser, and we need to let the director know that uh, you have a, this. This guy is a builder, and uh, then the the director can start parsing, right? Start parsing the things, and uh, um, and in the end we can call the builder to get the. Uh, the abstraction the builder has the final result the builder has the final result and uh, here we call the print on the, the root so let's take a look see uh, compile this and then we can run it okay so you can see that uh, uh, So you can see that this is indeed the f um, so that's w indeed what we gave to the main function uh, three thirty times five hundred plus five hundred times seventy and minus six hundred divided by fifty and uh, so the output uh, is the same thing that so w we verify that we build this root. We build such a class hierarchy, and uh, but we, we may have to verify that uh, the this tree is built correctly. Well, we have to print out and see whether the print out is the same thing as the input, as the same thing as the input. And here it is the the same. It is the same, right? 